Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. So, hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my first video. Um, and today we're going to be playing The Outer World, so... Uh, that was the intro of the game, and I'm now going to make my character. So, I have to admit, uh, I'm not really good at commentating, so, as it, as this is my first time on making a YouTube, YouTube video, so, I might just cut this out. <coughs> so, so I just finished making my character and now we're going to go to the game now so Right, let's go Looks to be your lucky day my friend Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. There you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. 
I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. So now we're in... Hawthorne won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Um... Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. Um, this is going to be a blind playthrough of Outer Worlds, so... Can I like... Oh, I can do it. I'm sorry if I stay quiet for a while. You see now, you've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. So, as I was saying, I'm sorry if I stay quiet for a while. As I'm not used to doing commentaries on videos. <clears throat> and like I said, this is my hey, first time. you, come here. You've tried the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Mm, I'll go with. Sit still, I'll patch you up. Yeah. Huh. <coughs> Looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't <coughs> like us accepting outside help. So, what happened to you? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hullhead grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Mm. 
Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. Uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Auntie Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Two. Oh, I should. I see. Damage my ears! Ugh. Oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the This. <laughs> Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain processes time differently. Process. Oh, I see. It's like fallout, I guess. Oh crap. I guess that's what I'm going to do. So. I really don't know what they do, but I've picked them up. How do I switch weapons? Mm. I'll just go with my gun right now. So are these hostiles? Hey! Get over here oh. before you get yourself killed! Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech! Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. So I heard I found one of her teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? He'll make it. Shouldn't have done that. Space's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to Edgewater. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Space's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Mm, 
go with Well, person. sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But, seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. So, I guess we'll enter. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of spacefaring vessel. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. I detect an elevated heart rate, indicating dishonesty. Please prepare yourself for lethal deterrence. Jefferson procedures initiated. Disengaging airlocks. Prepare to reject all four parties in five, four, three, two, one. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. <clears throat> this vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I, la I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Hawthorne said, I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? All right. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Where am I supposed to find something like that? The settlement of Edgewater is located nearby. I recommend speaking to the administrator of Edgewater and requesting assistance. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Alright, let's go. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. So, I get to level up my perks. Maybe I'll add more to my melee. I think I should go. Oh, I have a lot of points now. Um, this might come in handy later, I guess. And this one. Mm. Yeah, I'll go with that.
I'll just go with the fight for right now. So, so I'll just go with that. What? I'll just go with this. This one. Here. This one. This one, I guess. Apply. So I'll end the video here. Thanks for watching and peace out.